So now that the cabin is officially in the dry and we have the roof on the house and the porch, which is a really good thing because the rain is not letting up. As we begin to go inside, the first two steps that we have to do is the wiring and the insulation. Well, you gotta be careful not to get your finger in the way. Yeah, you gotta watch that thing. He'll, he'll bite you. All right, so we are hanging some insulation. We've put R30 in there, and then we're also putting this, what is it, half inch foam board? Yeah, half inch blue board that's pink. Blue board that's pink. <laughs> What's the purpose in it? R, it's an R3, and it seals it up where that tin's gonna have holes in it. Okay. From the old barn. Seals it up, makes it airtight, so it's not making any hot air back down through the ceiling. I'm sure we're going to get lots of comments on this, Jerry. <laughs> a lot of people are going to be like, what in the world are you doing? Okay, we got all the insulation up. We're a few sheets short. I think we're three sheets short on this half inch foam board. So we got to get some more tomorrow. Because we couldn't complete the insulation, decided it's time to build the ladder system or the steps up into the loft. Back to I don't think so, Jerry. I like that. Yeah. So we're going to cut out this section here and then, then that'll go up against this wall. That way the steps won't be so far out in the living room because I'm going to be putting a gas fireplace there. So I like it. Okay. Looks good to me. Okay, so we put in our R19 insulation. We put in fire blocking on this wall. That way we have something to nail the barn wood to. And so now Jerry is cutting all of our barn wood to length so that we can place it on this wall because we want to place it on this wall before we build the stairs. Stuck a piece of barn wood behind because this next piece has got a little chunk out of it. And so then that way, it's perfect. Perfect. It looks good behind there. And you're not seeing insulation. So these are my favorite pieces. This has got the gray and the reds in it. So this on the red barn was what was on the outside. And then this piece here, you can see it's totally different as far as color. This is a brown. And that's because it was on the inside of the barn, so it doesn't have that weathered, it's got dirt and stuff on it, but not like this where it, the weathered really pretty like that. And I've got several pieces that have this, just a red streak, and I think that's really cool. So I wanted all of this barn wood to be on the outside in the living room area because I want it to be like the main focus, what you really see the most of. The browns, the, the colors that are like that one, you know, we'll use that in other locations like on this wall where you know some of it's going to be covered up you're not going to see it as much as what you will see this sometimes you run into struggles whenever you're trying to put up old wood it's not uniform like most modern day lumber that you get where you just you know puts up very easy and so sometimes you just got to make modifications to the wood to kind of get it in there or just a big hammer in this case, go, in this case a bigger hammer Suck in. There you go. Perfect.
Stairs are complete. Finish up screwing it down. And obviously we're gonna have to build some handrails. But that gives you an idea. I mean it's steep. It's better than a ladder. But you're definitely we're gonna put some handrails on this side and on that side to kind of help. But it looks great. I love it. It looks good. Looks real good. Although now we got to figure out what we're going to do behind there. Because you can't have wasted space in a tiny house. So right here is where our couch was going to go, or still is. It's going to be a small one. But it may have to be one of those sectionals maybe. Where it goes down that way, comes here, and then turns a little Futon. bit. Futon. Jerry and I are not furniture experts. Lane would know. I'm sure Lane will have some great ideas. Anyway, what do you guys think? Looks pretty good. Looks really good. Boy, you're carrying a heavy load. We got a little educated since last time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry brought scaffolding this morning. We like to have a challenge beforehand, right? right. So we just don't want to make it simple every day. So, but yeah, this is going to be really helpful now that we're putting up the tin. So anyway, I'm going to put up the tin today. It's going to look really, really good. We've got enough to do this whole loft area. And I think it's really going to add a lot of unique character. This is this is the tin from the old barn that was on the roof of it. So the width of our room or the, the whole front side is 20 feet and we have a bunch of 10 foot pieces so we could just do you know like this one and just have 10 foot 10 foot and then a line all the way down through the middle but we kind of don't really want to do that. So we're staggering. So we have some two foot pieces that we have cut off for the, the roof on this side on the porch. And so we had some two foot pieces plus we had some eight foot pieces. And so we're gonna be staggering them, kind of like how we've done this one. Where here's that one, but then we're staggering it. So we'll have eight foot, 10 foot, and then a two foot. And, and then we'll switch it and then we'll go two foot, 10 foot, eight foot. So we've made it down to the cedar log and we can't just cut a straight line on the piece of tin so Jerry's going through and taking measurements along the way because the log comes out goes back in it's just it's just not straight and sometimes we'll have to kind of cut it diagonally or whatever to try to get it as close up to that cedar log as we can Jerry's wishing we had a sharpie right now I'm going on can't sell the other Looks like we got lunch coming. Get on your bottle, buddy. What do you think about your stairs? Oh my goodness, it's full of stairs. I still have to get up at least. Do you like it? What do you think about it? It's pretty cool. Yeah. You guys like the old tin up on the roof? Yeah. Or on the ceiling? That look good? Oh, oh yeah. Just like our old red house. I thought you meant like a tin tin. No, a the it's tin. Like a the old tin. Jerry, so we made some changes. Ah, 